So I think one of the interesting questions is um, why is engagement such a hot topic these days? And it has been on the agenda for the last 10 years, in, particularly in the UK. And I think when we think about it, obviously the world of work has changed drastically over the last two generations. I take my grandfather, he spent 50 years of his life working down a mine. Actually, his job didn't really change from week to week, year to year, and he had a job for life. Organisations are now global, so the idea that people need to grow, learn and move on. It's likely that people have more than one job in their life, in fact probably more than one career. And the fact that people are more in knowledge-based jobs now than physical tasks, which means they take the knowledge with them. So more important for organisations while they have people is to treat them as people, what we call the human age. So we've moved from a mechanisation through a technologicalization, and now we're moving to a humanisation of the workplace. The question is, of course, what is engagement? Engagement is a way of providing an environment where those people can make that difference for you. If you're going to invest in your staff, they are going to invest in you. That, to me, sums up engagement. And if we were to define it, it would be defined as something like the way people think and feel about the jobs they do, the people they work with, and the companies they work for. And if they think, can feel in very positive ways about the people they work with, the jobs they do, the companies they work for, then it's likely they will behave in very positive ways. Like to be more engaged with the organisation, feel a greater sense of belonging, greater sense of pride, go the extra mile, work harder, work better, more efficiently, etc. etc. The overall marketplace is very, very competitive now. It's very difficult to find good people. There are skill shortages throughout the UK. There are productivity issues. So in order to attract and develop the right staff, you have to invest in those staff. And one of the ways to invest in those staff is to ensure that they're treated in the right way, that when you bring them on board, you treat them well, and that they're engaged with the work that they do on a daily basis. I think one of the strengths of our model of engagement is that it's based on good psychological scientific theory. And one of the theories that we lean on is a theory called groupology. It's long been understood that people need to join groups in order to survive. Um, what we seldom think about is that once we've joined a group, we then have to thrive and survive in that group. We have to, in a sense, promote and protect ourselves within that group. And behind that are some kind of deep psychological triggers, such as a sense of acceptance, sense of inclusion, sense of pride, sense of self-esteem. And if we look at the seven factors that drive engagement, they're very closely linked to those sort of survival mechanisms. Uh, and in fact, when we look at the seven factors of voice, togetherness, challenge, clarity, freedom, recognition and growth, uh, we can actually look at them as real needs. And what we mean by that psychologically is that when people don't get those needs, they're incredibly disengaged. They're almost psychologically dying at work. When those needs are fulfilled, however, it expresses itself in very positive feelings, very positive emotions and very positive behaviours around the organisation. So engagement is something that all organisations should really have if they want to succeed and perform at very high levels.